Well, we broke the bank, so let's have some kombini food. Hello guys, today we are doing some kombini food or more specifically kombini food from 7-Eleven because the previous two episodes we exceeded our budget by a, by a significant margin. Anyway, here are an assortment of foods. Some of them are our recommendations to you. Some of them are new to us. I think we'll go dish by dish and then we'll explain. I think we should start with this, the Jumbo Frankfurter from 7-Eleven. I personally think this is significantly better than the one from Family Mart or Lawson. So, without further ado, let's try this out! On goes the mustard and the ketchup. <laughs> Make sure it's all used up. There we go. Oh, nice. <laughs> yep. Bouncy snappy skin. The flavor of the mustard and the ketchup, it brings that nice acidity from the tomato. Mustard is spicy enough. Mm. The saltiness and savoriness of the sausage. You know, something to do with the bitiness, the crunchiness of the insides. It's so meaty. Now, it is very salty. Not gonna pretend it's not salty, it's really salty. You can taste after a few bites that it is a convenient convenience store type of food. However, I think this is the best balance out of the three convenience stores. And when it's warm, it's hot. It's good. This is Oyakodon in pork chop version. Mm -hmm. You can see the packaging is done very well. Let's separate the ingredients and the rice so the rice doesn't get soggy. So you can pour your ingredient to the rice after. By the way, this is our recommendation. We have tried this. And you can see the pork chop is quite sizable. But today, the egg is not runny as last time. Yeah. Have, with some topping nangi. Mm. Mm. The combination of sweetness, umami from soy sauce and dashi and egginess is the hallmark of an oyakodon. And the flavour of this don is balanced quite well. The meat is dry, but because of the sauce, it's still alright. As you can see, the skin is soggy, but it still have a little bit of oil fragrance. And you can see for a kombini, the rice is decent quality, individual grade. Mm. Your onions as well, they're sweet. Mm. Huh? Yeah, this is a really decent one, we definitely recommend this. Okay, mm -hmm. next. <laughs> This. this is new. It just came out, you can see from this logo here. This is Mapo Tofu Mian. I saw it and I think it's quite interesting because actually when I was here, I ate a lot of Mapo Tofu, quite a bit of Mapo Tofu. So this time I want to try out. I haven't tried Seven Eyes Mapo Tofu yet. Mm. So let's quickly see what it's like. Quite a few generous pieces of diced tofu. You've got some nagi and a generous amount of means. I'm guessing probably pork or beef with yellow noodles. And there's actually soup underneath. So it's actually a shallow plate, but we're gonna Try and mix it up a little. Oh, oh. I think I waited a little too long. Let's see. <laughs> it has dried up. Okay. Mm. 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 The flavor of the mapo tofu is very decent. Mm. It's got a nice numbness. Not very spicy, I think it's moderately spicy. It's a good amount of spiciness, I would say. And it pairs with the noodle. The noodle, of course, are not exactly bouncy. They are pre-made. But it's still got a nice bite. Which is quite decent, eh? Mm. Mm. The tou ban jiang, it has a nice balance of flavors. I'm surprised it came out of a plastic box. Which is quite good. Tofu is a little odd. I mean, it's got a nice bounce, but it also feels a little bit elastic. Very mildly. I think it's because it's a pre-packed food, they want to keep the bounciness. Mm. But yeah, the noodles are surprisingly holding up really well. And the flavor is good. Oh, I would go and try the Amapo tofu rice. 
I think this is a collaboration between 7i and another brand I think that does Chinese. I don't think this is from 7i directly, but this is good. This is good, guys. I don't know if it's seasonal, but if you are here and they have this, you can try it. It's got a really nice numbiness. Let's move on to the next salad. Hmm. It's a salad, but it's actually a bibimbap. Mm. <laughs> it is also recommended. You will try this, it's very good. And it's relatively healthy. For those of you who are calculating your calories, mm -hmm. less than 250 calories. Mm -hmm. You have got an assortment of vegetables, you have got stir-fried beef, I believe, kimchi, and then you have got an assortment of different grains, and right underneath are crispy lettuces. So what you do is you pour in all the ingredients, pour that gochujang sauce, and mix it up real nice, and what you get is a salad-based bibimbap that is relatively low in calories. Mm. Mm. Itadakimasu! Mm. 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 Now I always felt that for bibimbap dish, the gochujang plays a main role. Mm. If the gochujang mixture is good, which in this case it is, it's yep. good. Very refreshing. Mm. Mm. Sweet, savory, some sesame flavor, lightly spicy, an array of different textures, the crispiness of the vegetables. Mm. The grains are bitey and snappy, bouncy. If you get a bit of beef, you get a little bit more umami. Mm -hmm. It's just a really good salad. I mean, it's, it's basically bibimbap with, with some salad. Yep. But it's really good. Yeah, the nori adds that robustness as well, the seaweed flavor. Mm -hmm. This is delicious, huh? This is it, okay. It's so simple, it's really delicious. And the key everything is fresh. It's very appetizing. Mm. <laughs> Alright. Not gonna drag this on for too long. Then we have to move to the two sandwiches that we got here. Yep. One of them is absolutely recommended. The other we had it long ago, but I've not had it this trip. So which do you want to start with? Mm, let's start with the ham and cheese. Okay, let's do ham and cheese. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. We're gonna eat just one because we have so much food. I'm gonna keep the other one. <laughs> Well, actually, I like the layers. They look pretty nice. A relatively thin piece of cheese, a mm. um, moderate amount of ham, and pretty generous on the lettuce. Yeah. <laughs> bread looks quite fluffy. Mm -hmm. Let's bread half. Okay, let's go. Mm. 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 Soft bread. Mm -hmm. Relatively moist, not too dry. I think the main flavor comes from the sauce. It tastes like a mix between a mayo and a tara sauce. I'm not too sure it's sweet, it's tangy. Mm -hmm. You better taste the ham actually. Mm -hmm. You taste the crispy on the lettuce. Mm -hmm. It's a very decent sandwich for convenience. Mm. Okay, next. This is actually recommended. It's their egg mayo mm -hmm. sandwich. We have tried all egg mayo from mm -hmm. three stores. And Ferma definitely loses. It's mm -hmm. the saltiest. This is in competition with Lawson. Mm, Lawson. Lawson used to be our favorite. Yep. Recently we tried 7 I we think they have improved on their egg mayo sandwich. And the bread also. Yeah, the main point is the bread. I think the uh. bread is in better than Lawson's, but let's eat it first and then mm. we'll explain as we go. Oh, it looks really soft man, the bread. Mm. Okay, okay. Let, me, let me try it first. Yeah. Mm. The fragrance of the egg is really strong. Mm -hmm. You can smell it. Mm -hmm. I think they use a lot of ratio of mayo. Mm. Very delicious with the flavor of mayo and then the savoriness. Again, I think all their egg mayos here, they must have added some form of shoyu. Mm. There's a umami flavor behind the egg mayo. It's eggy, it's very creamy. Yeah, this is a lot creamy yeah. than the yeah, lossing. Yeah, lossing is more egg quite heavy. Mm -hmm. So it depends on your personal preference. Actually, personally, I prefer the egg quite heavy texture. Mm -hmm. But because this has really soft, fluffy bread right. and a very robust tasting egg mayo feeling. Mm. And it's salty, but it's not overly salty. Mm. Yep. So to me now, my favorite might be with 7-Eleven instead of Lawson because Lawson's bread is drier. Mm. So there you have it. I believe this is all that we are going to showcase from 7-Eleven. We are going to finish this up and then see you later mm. for what? Dessert. Oh yeah, we have one dessert. Sorry, sorry, we have one dessert. Okay, show you in a second. 
this is the roasted green tea parfait mm. and I bought it not because I've tried it I've not tried it it's just the best looking among all the desserts I could find mm -hmm. anyway let's give it a go mm. Mm -hmm. I mean when it's seen through the packaging it looked a lot nicer um, now it still looks quite decent but you could definitely tell it's more convenience store-ish and then we've got here some I believe these are dango and this is maybe red bean paste koshian and then this is a form of cream with some sesame seeds. I'm guessing maybe chestnut or sweet potato. This is definitely sweet potato. And then underneath you have got some cream and maybe this is the matcha mousse. Anyway, I'm gonna give it a go. Very mushy dango. Lightly chewy. Very sticky. It's not the good dango basically. The flavor though sweet relatively robust matcha flavor and i noticed actually down below i think they're jelly pretty matcha jelly let's try to grab a bit of the paste with the jelly hmm yeah it's matcha paste with matcha jelly in different textures it's quite decent it's got a pretty robust flavor not overly rich you could still taste a little bit of greediness probably from the paste I'm gonna try some of that sweet potato with the paste. I think it's sweet potato paste as well. Hmm, it's sweet potato. Oh, actually, it's quite decent. If you just ignore the danko, the texture of the danko is not good. The rest of the stuff is quite nice, and I'm not exactly a matcha person. I think it's balanced quite well. The cream is just basic with cream. I don't even know if it's shiny because there's so much sickness going on. So, yeah, there you go. A really decent matcha dessert. I didn't expect too much out of it, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised. All right, this time is really it. That is all the food that we are showcasing from mm -hmm. 7-Eleven. We're gonna finish this up now. Let's cue plating time. Pleading time! I guess today is a surprisingly enjoyable meal for us. Mm, and today is also quite successful food haul. Yeah, absolutely very good quality kombini food. Mm -hmm. Sandwiches are fresh with soft bread and delicious filling. And better that we try are good. The amount is also quite generous for us. The flavour balance is done really well. Surprisingly well layered and robust considering it's pre-packaged and pre-cooked food. Mm. And I think the packaging is done really well as well. It's very convenient to reheat and very convenient for you to unpack and eat. Of course, this applies not just to 7-Eleven, it applies to all the convenience stores in Japan. The packaging is done really, really well. I would say the most impressive thing about convenience store in Japan, right, in this case 7-Eleven, is that it creates very, very decent food that you can easily get. And the pricing is relatively affordable mm -hmm. in Tokyo. Mm. I'll put it that way. This is what you generally don't find in other countries. Like other countries convenience store foods are generally not very palatable. Mm. But convenience in Japan are just different. Mm. They are they're generally yeah, really decent. I think right? it's like their culture. Yeah, yeah, I think it's in their culture. Mm. I always felt that in general Japan always has better quality food from the ground up. And it's very evident in the case of convenience stores. By the way guys, you would have noticed that we didn't film anything in the convenience store. That is because all convenience stores in Japan actually they do not allow video taking. And I really think we should respect that, which is why we don't film any of the things that we're not allowed to film. So this is going to be a really simple score for us, I guess. It's quite straightforward, it's very decent food, very good quality ingredients. And with that being said, the food that we tried at 7-Eleven scores and okay on the gourmet plate which means it's some good quality convenience store food right there mm. I think 7-Eleven is definitely one of the companies that you have to check out if you're in Tokyo mm. they have a lot of very interesting food again, good quality <laughs> very decent flavours now, that makes us very interested to like do a food haul as well for the other two companies, mm. Lawson as well as Family Mart. I mean, we did eat some of their stuff some of their stuff that we like but we didn't really like venture deep enough and let's see, we might want to do some of those. It depends, you know, when our budget runs out, then we might need to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that is it for our food vlog for the week. Mm -hmm. Hope you have enjoyed this episode. Hopefully it's um, interesting enough and not too long-winded. 
I'll see you next week with another food episode in Tokyo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.